Hello guys, right I've just got back to my charts and um, I thought I'd come and have a look at my pound yen monthly chart. I'd closed down my um, machine to give it a good clean, it gets all dusty and dirty and skanky so uh, and for some reason I've lost all my earlier lines on the chart so I'm going to quickly throw a few on here um, and um, I've no what you will see will be pretty amazing if you've not been following it. In terms of what I said, I was waiting for a um, potential reversal because it had gone so far. Four day average 121. I think when I, I was looking at, I can't remember exactly, about 170, something like that. And uh, I said it would continue down to a daily low and it did, it hit it, bounced, um, which was before I went out. Now I've got back, just putting, as you, as always, I'm just putting the levels that might affect the price. That was the wrong one. I wanted to get the top of that candle. And uh, then the weekly, I don't want to make this too long a video because we'll miss the point. The whole point of this is the four hour reversal again. But because I lost my lines, I don't know what it's reversed off of. So I think it's dailies. Right, where are we? We'll put one on there. Oops. It's because I'm rushing, I'm putting the wrong levels on. Um, we can put one on the bottom of that, although it's definitely not touched that yet. Now we're getting into the important stuff, the daily. So that daily low there was would have been on my charts all of these daily lows here but we only need the lowest one now because we've bashed straight through it um, there's probably a few resistance lines I've missed as well but I'm not too worried about that so H4 look what's happened massive H4 breaks through a daily low that was the, the that was my target for my earlier trade um, 55 pips which is stonking if you've uh, looked at my older stuff I'm a scalper going for five pips and uh, I load my trades up so you know not going for a pound a pip or something like that scalpers don't scalpers generally make thousand pounds two thousand three thousand pounds a trade or more um, so divide that by five pips and you can work out what uh, people are putting on their trades. So when you make 55 pips with the exact same risk because the stops are always in the same place, then uh, you can imagine how happy I am today. So getting back to this though, what do I say happens when a, a level of support gets broken? All resistance, we get a pullback. How far was that pullback? only about 70 or 80 pips if you couldn't make 10 or 15 pips out of that then you must be um, very very bad <laughs> sorry I don't mean that but uh, you know what I mean so anyway how would we have traded that well you go down now you start to um, draw your levels in the reverse way so an H1 high because we do not try and pick tops or bottoms we trade the method that I've traded for years in order to attack that H1 high we need to break the M30 in order to attack the M30 high we need to break the M15 and so on and so forth so I should have drawn the H4 high on that candle as well and the low on the previous one I'm going to ignore the um, left hand side for, for now because as I say I'm concentrating on just this uh, reversal really but uh, you always have to put the left hand side in if I was going to trade this then I'd be all over the left hand side like a, uh, a rash so uh, we've done H1 so M30 that has engulfed so that's a reversal high low lower high lower low low high and break 
that's what I call the penultimate candle we just double check that as I say I've been away looking after animals so and enjoying the sunshine catching up on a few chores so that's the penultimate high that's the one we want to break and close above on the 30 minute chart we're always aware what's going on on the um, histo this fantastic indicator I can't recommend it enough free google it RSI histo alert it's on Forex Factory and I've put links on it uh, in past videos but don't ask me for it again please go and do your looking around for yourselves um, yeah M15 I'm looking for now doesn't really matter which one because they they um, are the same as the daily support and what do we know if support doesn't hold as resistance that's actually more powerful than actually closing above a, an old resistance I don't mention that very often either because I've forgotten more than most people have learnt about candlestick price action uh, and I'm, I'm sorry if that sounds a bit uh, a bit egotistical but uh, it's the truth so what are we on M15 and remember also this is important because I don't mention this enough it's the reversals that are powerful to the next level so on an M15 these are considered sort of minor levels they will affect price and they can reverse the price but the whole point of this um, reversal of mine is that you are catching a trend reversals that are fairly rare combined with this histo alert if that uh, and combined with where you are in relation to the hourly 8 EMA treat that like a rubber band the price wants to come back and test it just like it does all these old levels of uh, support becoming resistance and so on and so forth SBR RBS I mentioned that in the previous chart uh, uh, video so I didn't take this trade I was away from the charts but it was a brilliant looking setup and it moved uh, 80 pips and if I'd been here I would have been all over this like the proverbial and what's really important you can't really see the divergence on here but we have got divergence this is a higher low these are a lower low this seems to be some sort of bug with the uh, it's not bug buggy per se it's just that these levels you can actually put run your uh, cursor over them and you can see whether they are actually going down or up they're not flat these have different values but you have to check them two or three times see that one's 59 plus uh, a load of other digits that one's 57 that one was 55 so this is still going down and then these are going up 45 for that one double check it as I said 51 actually so it's 51 and now we're rising the lowest was 51 the lowest was uh, 59 I think wasn't it so that is divergence and if you want to go on the five minute chart which you have to do before you enter any trades according to my method you can see clearly now the divergence so this was such a beautiful opportunity missed I did call it in my last video I said if I was around I would be looking for the re reversal and there it is absolute thing of beauty and you could even you know you've even got your what I call the bust pull back and then break and close that candle there these two bars here that is the doggies what's it so if you'd entered even if you'd entered after that candle there a little bit of drawdown 10 10 or 11 pips and then well up to the let's say up to the hourly uh, the hourly 8 EMA 26 pips or even there I mean you know that's three times my daily requirement there 16 16 pips up to there and it was so beautiful that um, you know it's a thing of beauty so thank you for watching I shall be waiting for a potential I think this might um, now
disclaimer time before I think anything. You know, I'm watching this now again for potential longs at some stage, but the disclaimer, trade your own uh, analysis, never trade anything I talk about on here. This is a um, very unusual pattern this time of day. I don't know whether it's related to news. I need to go and have a look at the news, but uh, that's weird. But it will be a strong close, actually, thinking about it, looking at the candles. Well, no, actually, it's a, um, it's an inverse hammer. But uh, what can we see from this? Yeah, so that's reversed long on the hourly by the looks of it. Yeah, that's that's reversed. That's confirmed to the hourly. We'll have to look on the left-hand side. I'm going to have a look at this after this video closes. We've not confirmed, confirmed to the short side. But this resistance here has been broken and closed through by this candle here. And that's the more important than actually this one. So uh, in terms of a reversal, need to double check that. So the, the high of that candle there is 132.146. Has this closed through that? It's not going to let me see. One three two one one eight. Yeah, so this has broken that resistance. That has not held a support the high of that candle, that little red candle there. So that's significant to the downside. But as I say, do not trade what I talk about. This will probably just range now. Do not trade what I talk about, trade your own analysis. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening. It's now half past five half past four, time for another dog walk, I think.